Watch my mini tutorial first so you can get to where we are. To get started, head over to Starter UI, open up Starter UI, and go to the Screen UI. Open up the frame and head over to your settings frame. Last video, we inserted the code for opening the settings frame, and in this video, we're going to be coding the settings frame. So click on the frame, click visible, make sure it's enabled, and then inside the frame, create a local script. So just hit plus and type in local, then go ahead and press enter or click it and you'll have a local script inside your frame. Once this local script is here, go ahead and close it off for now. And uh, what we need to do is go ahead and create a little music label. So it says music, and then we're going to have an on and off button. So go ahead and create a text label, change the text to say music, then drag it over to where wherever you like. I'm going to place mine right about here and then go ahead and open up the properties. So inside the properties, we need to make the background transparency one, or even if you want to, we can set it to zero, change it to a different color, and then insert a UI corner inside. Next, rename the text label real quick, just to make sure that it is readable, just like that. So now that you have your music label, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and customize the text. So I'm going to make my font bold, so I'm going to use this font right here. It doesn't look the best bold. I think that's good. I'm going to change text color to white. I like the look of that, so now I'm going to create a little button. So for this button, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new text button. Go ahead and put it next to the music button, and then set it to on, because the music will be on by default when the player joins the game. Then I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, and insert a UI corner. This UI corner will be the exact same as the music label one, and the text background color is going to be set to green, so go ahead and set it to a green that you like. I'm going to be using this type of green right here, the HTML is right there if you want to copy it. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and set the text again, so go ahead and change the font, change uh, the font again. So go ahead and change the font, I'm going to be using, let's say this font right here, never mind, let's use this font right here. And now that you have your font selected, go ahead and change the text color again. And once you have your text color selected, you can go ahead and get started with the scripting. I'm just going to change the background color to be a little lighter. Double click on your local script. Once it's open, go ahead and type local button equals script dot parent dot text button. And real quick, let's change the text button name to actually be music uh, button. Inside the script, change text button to music button, not music label, make sure it's music button. And then create another line and then uh, write label here. And remember, we might uh, make different settings, so actually go ahead and type what kind of label or button it is. So I'm going to call this one music button and music label. Next, go ahead and drop down a few lines and do music button dot mouse button one click, colon, connect function, and then drop down a bit. It should create an end with a bracket if you put these two brackets right here. Then inside here, we would just want to change the color of the text label or the text button. So go ahead and open up your button and copy these three numbers right here. Once you have them copied, go ahead and just drop down a bit over here, put two dashes and put the numbers in. This, should, uh, this is just so we can remember the numbers for uh, later. And then to make sure you note it down so you know it's green. And then go ahead and find a red that you like. So I'm going to open it up and find a red that I like. Once you have your red selected, go and hit OK. Copy the numbers again, open up the script, and do the same thing again basically. Just put your numbers in, type in the word. Once you have that done, go ahead and create a variable outside of the function, so call it local music on equals uh, true because the music will start as on once you do that the next thing you need to do is go ahead and actually create your sound so head over to your toolbox and real quick make sure that uh, you set the color back for the button so it's default green open up your local script copy the green numbers go back to your button and paste the numbers in now it should be green as default now let's find a sound to use so click audio and let's find some background music don't use sounds this weird, but for the purpose of the video, I think it'll be fine. So go ahead and insert your sound into the workspace, and rename the sound to music. Once you've done that, close off the toolbox, head over to your script, and let's create a variable for the music. So up here, let's create a uh, variable called local sound equals workspace dot music. Once you have that done, what we can do is actually get rid of this variable. We're just going to be using the sounds property called is playing to uh, actually check if the sound is playing or not. So inside here, what we need to do is type sound, or if sound uh, is playing, then music button dot background color, and make sure you use background color three. If it's not, then it won't work. So make sure you set to background color three, then do equals color three dot new. Go ahead and copy your color for the red, create a bracket, create brackets, and paste in your numbers. Once you have your numbers in here, you can go ahead and change the text. So music button dot text equals off. So basically, if the music is playing, then we're going to make it red, and we're going to turn the music off. 
Next thing we need to do is go ahead and decide what happens if the music is not playing. For that, we're just going to be turning the music back on. So just go ahead and copy this code right here, paste it in, and change these three numbers to the green. So once you have your green numbers copied, paste them in, and change the off text to on. Once you're done that, now we actually do need to change whether the sound is playing or not. So for that, let's go ahead and type sound, colon, pause for the off, and then sound, colon, resume. Not remove, but make sure it's resume for on. And the next thing you do need to do, this is really important, click the sound and make sure you enable the playing property and the looped property. If these aren't on, then it won't work. So make sure you have them both on. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and test it out. But before that, make sure you turn your settings frame off and then you can go ahead and test it out. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that. You should be able to hear it now. And that is pretty weird. But what now we need to test is the settings button. So click it. And as you can see, it's off, it's on, it's off and it's on. Now the color isn't working, so let's go ahead and fix that. Okay guys, to fix this, all you have to do is click anywhere you want inside the brackets, anywhere on the numbers, click this little color wheel right here, and go ahead and choose your color once again. So I'm just going to find mine, hit OK, and your color will be inputted. As you can see, the numbers are a bit weird, so uh, for that, you just have to do that method instead. Now if I click settings, as you can see, I can turn it off and on, and if you can hear it, it works. So that's how you create the settings uh, frame in your main menu, and that's pretty much it for me. If this helped and it works in your game, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.